to uh, Susie. And of course, this is open to everyone. Okay. Susie, now, uh, you know, well, we all know the importance of uh, the network marketing, not only the uh, networking part, but also the, the retailing part. All right? So, Susie, basically, how important is retailing in network marketing? Hi, good, uh, good evening. How is everybody? Exciting. Exciting? Yeah. 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 Not like exciting, so much exciting. <laughs> yeah. All right. Okay. Um, uh, it has been a very great day today, right? And uh, we have learned a lot. It's, uh, a lot, and the master is here. So I'm here just to share a little bit of uh, uh, what I uh, what I've done and a uh, uh, little experience. Uh, we have a lot of time when we come for such meeting. We learn a lot. So now the next question is when we go back, we start asking what do I do next? Right. So for a start, when we get back now, we all have to start off with retail. And I think retail is retail, I think retail is very important for all of us. Today if we are doing this business as part time or even full time, but Lauren Lauren say no sometime, huh? <laughs> Alright? So we have to start somewhere. We start with retail. Why retail? Because retail is where you can earn extra income. Today we come into the business, let's face it, we want an extra income. Correct. If we don't want an extra income, why bother to go and talk to people and tell people how fantastic a product? Correct now. The bottom line is earning extra income. So when you want to earn extra income, right, we have learned just now. We have to talk to many people. So start off today. Open your list, alright? Go to your COI first, circle of influence, your adik-radik, your brothers, sisters, your close, your, your close friends, relatives. Go talk to these people first, alright? So when you talk to these people, retail your product. We have already learned our product is so fantastic right now. So if the product is so fantastic, and amazing is that everybody can use our product as young as 4 years old. And our product covers everybody, ladies, men, uh, children, uh, the pet, the teen, the one who wants energy. So everybody needs the product. Okay, so therefore, we retail to them. Now, very important today is when we talk to our customer or even our, 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 our relative, when you want to retail the product to them, what do they tell you? Can you give me discount? You get that? Or if you tell them, you sell them retail, what do they tell you? Ah, you have to make money from me. You face that? So if your friends or relatives tell you that, can you give me some discount? What do you say? Ah, can I, can I, if you like, if you like. There's no such thing, yeah? We have to stick to that thing. So if you want a discount, yes, you have to open an account with us, join us. But otherwise, you have to buy it at retail. If they insist, ah, you is my relative, can you give me discount? Now you ask her a question. Now, are you working? How many of you here is working? How many working? Okay. So you earn income every month? Yes. yes. Now you tell her. So you are working. This is my career. Now, you want the discount from me? Can I ask you, at the end of the month, when you receive your salary, can you give me 5% of your salary? Mm -hmm. Can you give me a 5% of your salary? No. Yeah. If you cannot give me your 5% of your salary, why? This is my job, my career, I earn this income. Why must I give it to you? Yes. Does it make sense? Yes. Yeah. 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 So you have to think, if everybody here be, okay, in this room, and our downline, if everybody do not give discount, everybody do a clean business. So we full timer. Can we survive? Yes. Yeah. People who are part time, remember, the full timers like us, we need to retail because that is our source of income. Correct or not? If anyone discount, give discount to your friends, you are actually killing us. Not only killing us, you are killing our business. And if you think that I do not need the money, you retail the money given to us. How about that? <laughs> yes. 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 And actually, Susie, actually, Susie, one interesting fact. 
You know, in isogenics, actually, 95% of the sales comes from us. 85% of the sales come from consumers. Yeah. Consumers. Yes. Okay. Correct. So our product is so fantastic that you don't have to discount. You take it or you leave it. Because for sure, if you're going to take the product from us, you will definitely get a result. So remember, retail for you to earn your, your, your pocket money, extra income. And when you talk to your friends, you have to uh, use your phone call, your toll, your petrol. All this will be paid through your retail. Is that right? Yeah. yeah. Okay, anyway, I have not much time. But next day, when we do another training, when we have more time, then I will explain to you more on who actually and how actually uh, you can redeem more. Because what Lawrence has done to our forest has already shown us, remember, regarding the script, because when you start talking to your people on to retail, that script comes in. If I can show you a way to earn 100 or 200 per week without disturbing your job, are you interested to take a look? See, so that is why script is very important. So there is no reason for you to say, I don't know what to say. Because Lord Lawrence has given you two sheets of script. Thank you very much. Yes. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Oops. Susie shared something that you guys may have missed. That was gold. Okay. Absolutely brilliant. When she was talking to that person, it wasn't about uh, like getting the product either wholesale or retail. You notice what she said? She didn't say, can I sign you up, Char, or can I enroll you, Char? If you talk to someone about letting me sign you up or enroll you, the warning bells are going to go off. Her language was, let me open up an account for you. I love to say, let me get you a wholesale account. Because if you talk to any business builder, or any businessman, pardon me, Blake at his gym, guaranteed he has a janitorial supply account, he probably has a paper supply account, he probably has a gym equipment supply account, he probably has a pro like, nutritional account. Talk to any business builder, they always have wholesale accounts. So Susie was absolutely brilliant there, so well done. Yes, thank you. Okay, now we'll move on to Dagesh. Okay, Dagesh, basically, uh, what, what we want to, Bit, no, a bit more is like okay, belief and the why. Okay, like firstly for yourself, how do you build up your belief? Okay, good evening, Shaka. Good evening, everyone. How are you? Great. Are you sure? Yeah. Are you excited today? Yeah. Are you feel very, very excited today? Yeah. That reason to be excited is my belief. Why you want to be excited? What do you really want in your life? What's the purpose of bringing four hours, five hours? If this day is nothing to do with here, what are you doing here? It's four hours in your life. These four hours are going to be able to change the decision that you're going to make. So now you're going to see the company, how good the company was, where's the company born, who's the founder, how's the product, who's going to make everything. Now you already got something in your mind. You already have some decision. How fast are you going to implement that decision? That's what's your mind. If you already decide, I'm going to talk to this guy, or maybe this guy is somewhere far away from me, Make that decision as fast as possible. Call him, message him, get an appointment right now. Don't delay. Don't. There's no more tomorrow. So that's going to be make your why. So as my why is, I want to be a full time. I want to be earn more money. But I don't have money right now. So is it the right time? Is yes. Every day is the right time. The decision is why. So my why is, I want to make my good education for my kids. I want really want him to be in a private school, something like that. And I want to have a better life, better house, better car, everything. So this is my decision. I want to earn extra. That's what Lawrence say, hundred thousand guys a month, a year. So how many have already earned the hundred thousand guys? Thirty years of your life, twenty years of your life. Maybe not yet. Make the decision today. If you already decide to call someone, make a decision today. Make your why happen today. So for that, make your why very, very strong. Why you need to be here in these four hours? Or maybe someone is from 10 o'clock. It takes about 10 to 4, about 6 hours here and here. What's the reason? Why you need to be here? So get that why is very important. So make it the why as strong as possible. Okay. That's good. That's good. And check it. 
how, how do you instill that same belief into your team members and keep them connected and, and going? Okay, first thing you need to be understand the society and the culture of the people here. Every time if you push business, selling, marketing plan, show plan, sick and tired. Don't talk about others, including myself, was sick and tired. Okay, so maybe in a way what we are doing, maybe, uh, once in a week we'll gather them, no business at all, no plan, nothing at all. We're going to be do something, we're going to play bowling, we have a team to play bowling, only fun, two hours just bowling only. Okay, and then you just call the friends, you just have fun, we do a shake party, just shake party, nothing to do business, don't talk about money. You just do a variety of shake party, somebody will mix this, mix that, mix food. Make anything, whatever you like, uh, as long as you like it. So just to make you feel something, get yourself involved with the product. You mix that, you mix plants, you become scientists or whatever you do, you do uh, You have to promote yourself, oh, I'm a scientist here, I'm going to do a shake today, I'm going to do this stuff. Get happy about yourself. Make, self, make sure you're happy about the product first. Oh, I'm going to do this, I'm going to have this, I'm going to have that. Well, wow, that's, that's a great tip. Okay. You more fun in doing this business. If you don't have fun about this business, you will never grow. It's like it's talk about my professions. Uh, I was working in FMT, I doing banking, thing, I doing functions. I don't mind sitting under the table. I ever sleep one day with one big round table. I sleep under the table. The meeting was start. I was under the table sleeping. Then I was sleeping down there until the meeting is end because I like the job. I love the job. I sleep under the table. I don't want snow. So I can do that because I like the job. So if you really want to earn from this system, you need to make sure you like hygienic, you have to make sure you like the product first. Wow. Thank you. That's amazing. Thank you, Thank you. Thank you. Okay, now, Tony uh-huh. Roy. Yes. <laughs> Mr. President. Yes. Okay. Now, we, we learned a lot from you today. You know, always learning and updating, you know, keeping with current trends, okay? Now, based on the current trend now, what is the most effective way to prospect? To prospect, prospect yeah. What is the most effective way? Okay, first and foremost, you have to understand what is prospecting first. Okay, prospecting and sponsoring. Do you guys know what is mean by prospecting and sponsoring? You know? Prospect is suspect. <laughs> okay, prospecting is somebody that okay, somebody that you 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 want to go and share something, okay. But sponsoring is very very big word. Sponsoring is come from a word responsibility. So if you want to go to sponsor people, you must first sponsor yourself. You must first sponsor whether you will be responsible on the people that you sponsoring. So in this time now, the best way to prospecting, actually prospecting and sponsoring, it will never end. I came across with so many questions. I ran out of prospect. I ran out of sponsoring people. What I learned from the industry, there is no way you're going to run out of prospect. By means of whatever means, there is no way that you're going to run out of prospect. Okay, well, what do you mean by that? Because Blake sorry talked to a couple of people, he asked for friends. Oh, uh, <laughs> friends. friends. Okay. We did, we did this last night. This Yesterday. is cool. Take You want to take notes. <laughs> He signed up with only two friends, he knows no one else. Okay, I think most of us here also sign up with two friends, correct? But let us think about that two friends. Simple, you don't have to go out and prospect a new people to sponsor. Because you have to remember, sponsoring is responsibility. If you don't have the guts to be responsible enough, don't go out and sponsor new people. Just make sure these two people that you bring in into the business, you go and see their hairdresser. You go and see their nurse. You go and see their teachers. You go and see their colleagues. You go and see their uh, 
maybe school men, you go and see their college. There is so many people on average. One people in this world on average, they have minimum 200 to 250 people that they know. I want to bet anybody here, take out a smartphone. Take out a smartphone. Take out a smartphone now. Smartphone is very smart. It's supposed to be for people who are smart enough to use the smartphone. <laughs> but normally now, people are not smart enough. <laughs> they only use the smartphone. Normal people in this world, research, have 200 to 250 contact into your smartphone. Check your phone. Check your phone. Check your phone. Uh, 2,300. How many? 2,300. How many? 2,300. Okay, how many? 2000, how many? So come on, yeah. Seven. Okay, Mr. Brown. One five. You? One five. One hundred? One thousand. One thousand five hundred. One thousand five hundred. So, tell me, you are an hour of prospect. <laughs> how many of you get an hour of prospect? That is the way to prospect the biggest investment in prospecting is your smartphone. <laughs> that is the biggest investment. Maybe some of us not using a smartphone, but still they have 200 numbers there. Where can you have our prospect? I always came across with this, this situation of question like, you know, I have none of prospect, where can I go to cold market? Basically, your warm market also is you are not reaching there. Because the two people, if they have 200 people that they know, you have 400 prospects. One year is 365 days. If you work in the, with these two people, you don't have enough time for that year to prospect two people. <laughs> so, you must understand. That's why. If you want to sponsor people, new people into your business, you must be very, very responsible enough to take care of your people. If not, just work on that two people that you sponsor. Because that is all needs in ICN. To get a cycle. Yes. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Awesome. Okay. Now we come. You should have seen Blake's face last time. <laughs> <laughs> Just Blake just ran out of people to talk to. And then the boys said, like, What do you mean? It's not possible. I mean, we howled at dinner time. Clint and I were rolling this. And then all of a sudden he starts going, Well, do your two people have like a barber or a hairdresser? Start doing that. And we're killing ourselves laughing. And Blake said, like, Oh, yes. I guess there is more people to talk to. <laughs> yes, it was amazing. Yes. Okay. All right. Obviously, not in America and Asia, and, and you've come to know it better now, are very, very different, right? Okay? Now, from what you've experienced, you know, you've been here five times last year, and, you know, you've been here this year again. What are the strong methods from North America that you have used that you see can help Asians build a very strong road here? What are the strong methods? That will work it. Keep it simple. Keep it simple. Use the system. Okay? Again, I gave you those fast fact sheets. You don't need to know everything about the ownership of the company, but you should know the highlights of each person. You don't need to have product knowledge like Blake. The three fast facts is more than sufficient. It's more than sufficient for me. It's more than sufficient for Leroy. If you have that nutritionist that wants deeper knowledge, get them on the phone with Blake. If we all have people that are up by our support team that will gladly answer those questions. Okay, keep it simple. This is, this is about your job chart right now, because I know you have the desire, same thing with you, Dale. Your only job right now is to go out and get people interested, have them watch two videos, from Ice the Movie, I generally have everyone watch Harden Talks It because it talks about the environment and then one other video. 
Okay, but first of all, you need to watch them. You need to watch enterprising women, team I suggest. I mean, you need to you need to know them so that when you meet the person, you can tell them the two videos. And after the watch the two videos, get them on the phone with someone else. Okay, it could be in person with someone else or on the phone with someone else, but let somebody else be the expert, even if you know it well. That was Kyle's problem. Kyle would talk so much. He would bring people in and they'd use the product, but they'd never do the business because they'd go, well, I can't, I don't, I, I don't know everything that Kyle knows. I don't know everything that Blake knows. The reason Blake's business hasn't taken off is because he's the product expert. People look at him, well, I can't do what Blake does. I don't have his knowledge, right? If Blake was talking to Dale, Blake should be having Dale watch two videos, get them on the phone with me. On the phone with Leroy, on the phone with Clinton, let somebody yes. else be the product expert. Yes. That's where the magic is. Yes. The biggest thing, guys, is just keep it simple. This isn't complicated. You guys can all learn the scripts. You can all reach out for support. But it's taking action. Okay. Thanks, Lord. How do you build, you know, you're so passionate. <laughs> I've seen you. Wow. How do you build that kind of passion in you? For this business. That that's a tough one. How do you build that passion? I mean, um, I, I think initially I, I certainly didn't have the passion initially, but it was because I had individuals speaking the belief into me, like Jimmy Smith saying I can do it, where I didn't believe in me, but He's saying I do. I believe in him so much that when he said I could do it, that was good enough. So those of you that have the chance to hear Leroy speak and speak the belief into you, believe in Leroy. Okay? Take his passion and just believe. Take Susie's passion, Jake Ishii's passion, mine. Okay, it, it, it's something I think that happens over time. Because I don't think any one of us had that passion day one. Maybe if we had industry experience, but it's doing it, but steal other people's passion and belief. Trust us. This company is going to be a legacy company. We will surpass Amway in the next five to ten years. I can guarantee it. Wow. That's, you know, that's a great thing to learn. If you do have someone in your group, you know, that, you know, obviously, like what you said, just started. Not sure of themselves, you know, not confident, you know, don't have that belief, all right? As long as someone you believe in that person, okay? Ask that person to believe in that, if you, if you know what I mean, okay? You have somebody who, who knows you can do it. I mean, that person may not know it at that point, but you have people, group, team members, uplines who believe in that person, okay? So with that connection, you can do well. I want to want want to, want to add on that passion. Right. Okay. 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 Passion to me is I always uh, when 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 in doubt when you sometimes you are in doubt sometimes you are down so on. So that is the biggest problem in that one thing. But to me, what I did is when when in doubt when not believing yourself so on, you always remember. Why on earth you start this? Why? That will bring back your passion. That will motivate you. That because why? Why you start this business? There are thousands of business outside there. But why must you start this business? When you are in doubt, you are not believing in yourself. You not believe in whatever it is. You think back. Why you start this business? The first day of the business. Why is that decision you make on that day? Because this is all about decision that you have made. So simple. Because, like, I just want to add for what Warren says now. I, if I not remember, it was, I think, my form 5, I think, form 5 or form 6. I came across with these one uh, words. They got proverbs, I think. Okay? Only fishermen. Can saw fishermen from far. Is it, is it correct? The only fishermen can see fishermen from far. 
Do you heard about it? <coughs> I read it was I think about 20 years back. And the words is only people who have done it can see that you can do it. Uh, yes. Wow. That's true. So it just kept bouncing like you said. Yeah. It literally did this last time. The other time is when you want to share with someone. Like, how do you feel when you enrolled your first person? How did that feel when you got your initial sign up? Did it feel good? Yeah. yeah. Yes. If when you get a sign up that you're putting something into the computer system and you just put them in, you know what? Start making phone calls now. You're up. You're excited. Nancy just got in or Brazil just got in. Start calling people when you're feeling really, really good. They're going to feel your passion. Yes. Yes, they're going to feel that energy. That means, uh, yeah, I remember, I remember the conversation. In your list, you have a list, right? Yeah. Okay. So obviously, you have some people, yeah, okay, networkers, or you know, but you know they're, they're going to be tough. Correct? They're going to be tough. So once you close some, you sign somebody up, you feel so good, you call that person. Hey, hey, how are you doing, man? Hey, remember we were supposed to meet up, you know? Your voice, your tone, that person can feel that energy, okay? Even if the person again says no, collect your nose, right? Doesn't matter, okay? Again, next round, you are having that same energy, you call that same person again. Suddenly, that person will be, wow, this guy, uh, oh, every time he's calling me, uh, he's, he's so, you know, the energy is so good. Okay, you know, next round we probably will say yes, right? Yeah. So, so that's what we're talking about. Uh, what other the point? Go ahead. <laughs> okay. Right. Actually, uh, yeah. Hey, hang on, yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> this is this is a real good one because you're talking about getting noticed. Yeah. Have yeah. Have any of you ever called someone, Susie, and you just know they want to get you off the phone? Like they really <laughs> don't want to talk to you. Like they they want to hang up on you. Okay. <laughs> It's happened to me. And I don't know who told me to do this, but it works. Would you like that person that wants to hang up on you to give you permission to call them and share with them? Would that be a cool thing if you found a way to do that? Okay. Think of this. I call Blake. He clearly, he wants me to get his, my product into his gym. Everyone's hitting him up. He wants me off the phone like now. And you can feel it. So it's like, hey Blake, I know you're busy. Would it be all right if I gave you a call in say three months and let you know how it's going? They say every time I have someone that's trying to get on me off the phone, they say, sure, yeah, give me a call in three months more and buy a clip. <laughs> oh, sweet. Because now I go to my day timer, it's February 8th, 7th, March, April, May, May 7th, I write in call Blake. Now I call Blake back on March 7th. He answers the phone, Blake, Warren here. You asked me to give you a call. And, and I'm just following up as I promised. Guess what? He's obligated to talk to me. Again, they're just little things, but they make all the difference in the world. Like any of you can become a six figure money earner in this company if you just learn a few simple little things. That's all it's about. It's not complicated. That's why you go to events. Because if you can come today and pick up two or three things that you can implement tomorrow in your business. It's worth it. It's worth it. That's all you need to get. If you show up next Saturday and you pick up another point, another nugget from Leroy that you can implement, impact your business, it's worth it. That's why you come to events. That's why in that book, right, if you want to build a business, I'm asking you to commit to show up to that weekly meeting every week. Every week. It's only 52 weeks out of the year. Okay? You want to create a multiple six-figure income? Make the investment. Show up. You're going to learn. Anyways, I'm fired up. Who can I talk to? Who's that contact with? Can you get something else? You can do it one more thing. The more you learn, the more you learn. Yes, the more you learn, the more you learn. Yes. You know, I, I wish we could go on and on, but we've got a flight to catch. Okay? Now, uh, I mean, you guys have been amazing. Just the last note that you could share with everyone, each, each of you. Just the last note of your hands. Three words for you guys. You can do it. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>
Oh, uh, Goha. Oh, this is my team. My my team. My my, my, my groups. Goha. Oh, go. Oh. Okay, one thing that I always remind myself every time we do a lot of seminars, a lot of classes, a lot of talks, a lot of knowledge we know, a lot of things we know. By the end of the day, it's not important how many things that I know. Very important is how many things that I really implement in my life. That's very important. So the knowledge that we can try to implement in the reality as much as possible to get a better result. See you on top. Thank you. Guys. Of course, uh, lady of our panel. Keep going, guys, because someone, someone, so what? Next. Keep going. All right. Okay, again, thank you, guys. Thank you, Mora. Okay. Thank you, Leroy Jagdish. Thank you, Susie. And thank all of you for coming here today. Thank you, the staff. Raja, Helen, 